Just want to welcome everybody live and in person, or I know it's digital, or if you're going to be here watching it on YouTube later. We looked last week at, and I will screen share really quickly. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is it? Where the heck is it? That's not on it. So, all right, let's see where is Acrobat Reader, bingo. Here we go. So we looked at this, where is it? Where the heck is it? It's not what I want. Okay, yeah. Um, no, I still can't find it. This is awesome. I just clicked on it. There we go, 84. Um, 84 common Latin roots and um, Sheila's popping in. Okay, sweet. Let me get Sheila. 84 common Latin roots and 84, um, I'm sorry, 42. I'm going to get it right. I swear I'm going to throw this computer across the room. 42 common Latin roots and then 42 uh, common um, Greek roots. And we'll go over some of them right now. Kind of get, you'll see the pattern. I'll email this to you. Um, who just popped in? Who just popped in? Somebody just popped in. Who just popped in? Oh, Sheila. Okay, sweet. All right. So, where are we? Right here. Sheila. <laughs> All right. So, we want to see the patterns. Okay. Uh, so, we're going to look at the uh, Greek and Latin ones. Let's Greek first. You don't have to write all these down. If you want to, you can, but you'll start to see the pattern here. So anti, anything beginning with the prefix anti. So we're talking about affixes and one type of those is prefixes. Um, prefixes are before the word, they change the meaning of the word. And then suffixes all change the end of the word, usually change what type of speech or what part of speech. Um, if you start to see these patterns, you will definitely be able to break down a word a little bit better. So if you saw the word antibiotic or anticlimax uh, uh, or antibody, you would know that means against or opposite, okay? Uh, and antibiotics, they uh, kill bacteria. Antibodies um, kill the bodies of the virus. Uh, astro meaning star, okay? Astronomer, astrology, I guess we can. So astro, astro means star, astronomer, astrology, astronaut. Auto means self, okay? Who drives an automobile? You do yourself. Autograph is a signature that you do yourself. Bio means life. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to highlight all these, it's too close. Uh, life. And then um, we have examples like biology, biotic, autobiography. Auto means yourself, bio means life, and then a written story of yourself, your own life. Only one person can do an autobiography in your life. That's you. Okay. Crone or chrono means time. Okay. So chronology, chronograph, chronic, if you're in pain all the time you would have chronic pains. Cosmo uh, means universal world or order. So cosmos, microcosm, um, cosmology, macrocosm, crassy, anything ending in crassy. So democracy, theocracy, autocracy, that's a type of government. So a democracy is a, supposed to be a type of government by the people. A theocracy is supposed to be a type of government from the church usually um okay crat is the person who 
is of that type of government. So you would have a Democrat, okay, a theocrat, and they're just using the same ones over and over again there. Cycle, that is your circle, your wheel. So bicycle, tricycle, cycle, cyclical, unicycle. Uni means one, one cycle. Bi means two, tri means three. Dem means people, okay? So a demograph, that's, you're looking at, okay, Let's look at Hudson and Pasco County. What's the demograph? How, what is the ethnic demograph, uh, uh, demographic of uh, that? And how has it changed maybe in the last 20 years? A Democrat, democracy, demographer, somebody who studies um, uh, people, okay? An epidemic, demic, that we're currently in one, right? Or a pandemic. Um, geo, that means earth. So a geologist, somebody who studies Earth geography, a study of Earth. Geophysics is the physical or physics having to do with Earth. Geometry. Gon means angle. So polygon, multi-angle object. Octagon, how many angles? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pentagon is how many? Penta means five. So that's five. What about hexagon? What's hexagon? Six. Six, awesome. That I believe that you're you're right there. Uh, six in a septagon means seven. Okay, mm -hmm. graph or gram. I mean something that's written. Okay, or drawn. So photograph, graphic, polygraph. Hemi or semi means half. Okay, so hemisphere. If you cut the world in half from top to bottom, north and south hemisphere, you cut it east to west across. The Greenwich line, you'll have uh, the Eastern and the Western or Eastern and Western hemisphere. Semi-sweet, kind of like half sweet, partially sweet, okay? Hemicranial, okay? Semi-annual, something that happens uh, a couple times a year. Um, hydro, hydra, that means water, okay? Hydrate, hydrometer, something, something that measures water. Hydraulic, hydrologist. Um, Hyper means too much, okay, or over. So hyperspace, hyperactive, hyperactivity. Kilo means increments of a thousand. So kilometer is a thousand meters. Kilogram is a thousand grams. Kilobyte is a thousand bytes. Kiloton is a thousand tons. Mania, that is a madness or insania, uh, insanity. So pyromania, somebody who is like crazy with fire. Kleptomania, somebody who's crazy or has a madness with stealing, okay? Um, bibliomania, I think that's somebody who reads a lot, I'm not sure. Megalomania, that would be Donald Trump, somebody who's like, thinks they are the best and nothing's wrong, okay? He hires somebody and then they do something wrong and it's like, can't believe that person was hired, it wasn't me. Um, or maniac is a good version of that. Mech, okay, machine. Uh, so mechanic, mechan uh, mechanist, mechanized. Mega means big. Okay, so you have your megabyte, your megatropolis or megapolis, uh, megahertz. Meter is a measurement of, okay, so kilometer, hydrometer, measurement, speedometer, measurement of speed. Micro means something smaller, okay, so microphone, it's a tiny little thing that picks up your voice and makes it sound bigger. Uh, micrometer, uh, microscope is, uh, helps you see things very small. Miss means badly. Bad, badly, wrong, or wrongly. So mistake, misbehave, okay, means to not behave or badly behave. Misnomer is, an, is, is, a, is a misunderstanding of a name. Mislead is wrongly lead somebody. Misplace is to put somebody in a wrong or a bad place or something. Mon or mono means one. So <clears throat> monotonous, monotone means one tone. Monarch means um, usually leadership by, um, by one, one family, monotheist, somebody who believes in one God, uh, in monochrome. Ologist, this is an ending in ologist, is one who studies, biologist, one who studies uh, life, geologist, one who studies earth, astrologist, one who studies astrology, um, physiologist, and just moving on. Ology is the study of. So one who studies and then the study of. So biology, biologist, astrology, you get it. Pan means everything. So pantheism, 
panorama that's that shot on your phone that you can go either left to right right to left and you can see 180 or i think they can do 360 now whatever they do is crazy um but panorama pandemic that means okay you at least now must know somebody who's had covid so that's why we call it a pandemic it it is affecting the whole globe it's affecting everybody um Path means a suffering, sickness, or disease. So patholog pathological, empathy, sympathy, pandemic. You're getting, oh, I read the wrong one. Psychopath. Penta means five. That's a prefix for five. So you're, um, we have pentagram, pentane, pentameter, pentagon. We, we have all of our five one two three four five penta meaning five all of our five um uh divisions of military are in the pentagon can you name them see if you're paying attention or is it just me can you name all the branches of the military in the pentagon army navy, army, navy. um air Marine. force, air force. Air force. Guard. somebody said marines i think Yep, Marines, now we're, Air Force, Coast Guard. Coast Guard, the fifth is Coast Guard. Very good. Awesome. Phobia, I love this one. Phobia, fear of. Hydrophobia, being scared of water. Acrophobia, I think that's heights, right? Agoraphobia is a afraid of big places. I forgot what a blutophobia is. Satanophobia is a fear of Satan. Let's ask Siri what a blutophobia is. What is a blutophobia? On it. I didn't get that. Try tapping above to edit. What is a blutophobia? I found this on the web. No, I guess it's not really worth it. <clears throat> Sent me to a hospital. Phone oh, or phono me. means sound. Microphone, it's huh? It's the fear of bathing, cleaning, or washing. Oh, that's a gross one. Yeah, a blutophobia. Yeah. Fear, a fear of getting clean. That's gross. You know kids are like that, right? Little boys. Phono or phone, microphone, telephone, phonograph. Photo is, so we have sound. Photo is light. Phys means natural body or natural science. So physics, physiology, metaphysics. Pod and ped is foot. That's why you're... you're uh, bipedal, you work, you walk on two feet, okay? Your doctor of feet is a podiatrist, okay? <clears throat> All right. Um, poly is many, so polygon, a polynomial, polytheist, psycho, or psych means mind, so psychopath, psychology, psyche, psychic, psychiatric, Pyro is fire, the pyrotechnics, pyrotechnician. I'd love to do that. Scope is a watch. So microscope, um, telescope, uh, telly is distance. So your television, you can see something on a little thing in your house and it's um, being transmitted from a, a distance away. Um, theo has to do with religion or God. So theology is like the belief uh, in God or what the specific belief is a God theocracy or theocrat therm is heat tri is three so therm is uh thermometer okay thermonuclear thermostat these are measurements of heat tri means three triangle tri uh trilogy trident is that um thing you stab with the three uh ends to it tricycle and tripod all right so uh latin a n n or e n n that means yearly. So your anniversary or your annual, annual millennium is something that happens every thousand years. And then centennial, something that happens every hundred years. Perennial is something that happens every single year. Aqua or aqua means uh, water, aquarium, aquamarine. AUD, odd, audio, that's sound. Okay, so you have your audio, audible. Benny means good, so benefit. You would have a benefit for somebody that would be a good thing to raise money for them. Benign is a cancer, is a non-cancerous um, 
tumor. So you can have a benign skin tag or benign tumor or something like that. Um, okay, sweet. All right, bi means two. So we're at bicycle binary, bifocal. Cent means 100. So how many cents are in a dollar? 100 centimeter, that's uh, one hundredth of a meter. Um, circum means around, so circumference is the measurement around a circle, okay? Circumnavigate means to circle around the earth. Con, co, col, and calm is together, so connection is together. Collide means two things hit each other. Company is something you do with other people together. Cooperate, things like that. Contra or contro, that's against or different. So contrast, you're looking at um, somebody in their short versus a tall person, black versus white, green versus red. I don't know. So you're contrasting them. Contradict, uh, contrary. Credit means to believe or creed means to believe. So credit, credence, credible. That's having a belief in something. Incredible is um, not, not being able to believe it's so awesome. Uh, D-I-C-T, that means to say, so diction, contradict, dic uh, dictate, fract or frag means to break or a portion of, so fracture, fragment, okay? Inter means among or between, so interval, uh, intercontinental, something that happens between the continent. Ject means to cast or throw, so eject, interject, trajectory, Lumen has to do with light or shining. So illumination, lumen, luminary. Magna means big. So magnify means to make bigger. Magnitude is how big something is. Magnanimous means really, really big. Uh, magnificent is something great or amazing. Mal means bad. So malcontent, malice, malicious, malign. Malfeasance. M-E-D-I or M-I-D-I, that means middle. So medium, median, medieval, okay? Uh, mediate means somebody who goes between two people to try and counsel them. M-I-G-R, migrate, means to want or move, migrate. Um, migrant, immigrate, immigrant. Min means less or small, so mini, minus, minuscule. Miss or mit means to send or let go. So that's a missile, transmit, remit, omit. Mort has to do with death. So you have a mortician, immortal, morgue. Im means not. Mortal means to live, um, to, to have a death. And immortal would mean live forever. Uh, mortality, mortician. Multi means many. So multiply, multitude, multiple, multiplex. Non means not, so non-violent, non-fat, non-stop. Omni is like what we call the prefix, the God prefix, means you can do all. Omnipresent means you're everywhere, okay? Some of you parents are omnipresent, right? And you uh, know exactly where you're, you, you can see your kids all the time, or omniscient, knowing everything. You know exactly what your kids are doing, if they're doing something bad, you haven't heard them for a minute, okay? Omnivore means somebody who eats uh, both um, meat and um, uh, vegetables and fruit. Uh, omnipotent means all powerful, okay? Um, pre means before, so previous, predict, um, predicate. Quad means four, okay? So quad, quadruple, quadricept. That's your leg muscle has four parts to it. Um, Q U E R I R E S and I S. This has to do with like searching or questioning, quest, inquisition, query, question. Re means to do again, okay, uh, or or to do back or back. Redo, rewind. Script is a uh, has to do with writing, inscribe, scripture, script. Scent or sense means having to do with feelings. So that's your sense, sensitive, sensible. Spect is to look, uh, watch, look at. So spectator, spectacle. Struct has to do with building. So construction, structure, okay, instruct. You're building upon information. Sub is below or under. So you have your suburbs that are away from your 
town subway is something underneath and submarine is a, a vehicle that can travel underneath the water. Tempo means time. Okay, so temporary, temporal, contemporary during that time. Tain is to hold, so retain holds water, contain holds something, maintain. Tract means to pull, so tractor, attract, contract, subtract, distract. Trans is across or beyond, so transport, bring something across, something transmit. Uni means one, so unicorn, unicycle, universe. Vac means empty, vacant, vacancy, okay? If there's a vacancy, there's an empty room. If there's no vacancy, uh, place is full. The inn is full. Vid or viz means something visual, okay, visible. Uh, and then volve or volute means to uh, roll or turn, so convulsion, revolution, revolve, okay? So you'll get this. I want you to use this cheat sheet as, okay. Um, use this cheat sheet when you're working on this. Let's have a new share of IXL.com. All right, so can you see this? Yes. Very good. Yes. Right. So let me sign in. Let's spend some time on this and then we'll do prefixes on Thursday, I think, because they all have to do, they're very similar to each other. Let's try, because we're doing this at third grade level. Let's move up a little bit. Go to learning. Well, in fact, let's go to diagnostics, see where you guys are at, looking at my students' levels. Take some time between this week and make these very specific, okay? That's math. I don't care about math. I want to language arts. So as you go through this, this is only going to benefit you, okay? So if your name's down here, you need to do this again or, or get going on it. If your name's down here, um, you're hurting and you need to really get into um the diagnostic arena, okay? That's gonna really, really, really help for sure. All right, so learning. And then we are going to language arts. Let's go to, let's see if they have it in sixth grade. Going to vocabulary, Greek and Latin, okay? All right, so you're gonna help me with these, okay? For the next 10th team. All right, and then we'll get a little preview on prefixes and suffixes, I think. The root viz means see or to look at. What does the word visible mean? Able to be seen, able to be heard, able to be bent. Able to be seen. Very good, yeah. Flex means bend or curve. What does the word reflex mean? A way in which your body moves or bends automatically or a, an elect, electronic device that automatically shuts off when, you, uh, when it's not in use, a tool that automatically corrects um, errors in spelling or writing. What's a reflex? Number one. Yes, yeah, so A, a way in which the body moves. So like, uh, it bends automatically. An autograph is a person's signature written in his or her own handwriting. The root auto means own or self. What does the root graph mean? To listen, pull on, or pull or drag, or to draw? Write and draw. Yeah, it's a, it's a draw uh, to write, or you could say like that's self-writing or self-drawing. The root port means carry. What does the word support mean? Carry weight of something, write down, to write down the weight of something or to measure the weight of something? Carry, carry the weight. weight of something. So carry the weight, support, okay? Next one, mit, transmit. Mit means to send. What does the word transmit? To watch or observe someone from far away or to send something from one person or place to another or to listen to one person speak. Second one. To another person speak. Yeah, to send something. 
B, to send something, okay? Terrific. The root tract means pull or drag. What does tractor mean? A large automobile that pulls and moves farm equipment, a large automobile that makes measurements, or a large automobile that can drive long distance or far away? First one. Huh? First one. First one. Yeah, A, yeah, very good. That's right. Phono means sound. What does the word headphones mean? A device you put on your head to keep it protected when you ride a bicycle. That's called a helmet. A device you put on your ears to let you listen to sounds or music or a device you put on your eyes to let you see more clearly. That would be glasses. B. 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 Next one. Uh, photo, uh, photoscope is a, is a tool that is used to observe light. The root photo means light. What does the root scope mean? To look or observe. or observe. Yeah, so you're looking at the light and observing it. Well done. Very, very good. Dermatology is a study of and medical uh, treatment of skin. The root logy or ology uh, means the study of something. What does the root derm mean? Skin, sound, life. Skin. Yes, skin. Dermo. Uh, vac means empty. Vacate means to add light to something, leave a purse, uh, leave a position and make it empty, or to speak out about something. Leave. Very good. Sweet. All right. Zoology is the study of biology and behaviors of animal, uh, behavior of animal. The root ology means study of something. What does zoo mean? Animal. Animal. Very good. All right. So let's go back, go to another section. What does it have you do? Jump a level. What's that do for us? I don't want to jump a level. Let me go back. So we're using meaning of word, uh, meanings of word as clues to the meanings of Greek and Latin roots. Let's see what we're going to do here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're going to be sick. An audiometer is a tool that is used to measure how well someone can hear. Okay. What does the root meter mean? Measure. Own self, measure light, or pull a drag. Somebody said it. It is a measure. All right. Anthropology is a study of history and developing humans. What does the root anthro mean? Hum um, draw right, human, measure, carry. Human. Human. All right. Um, Something that is retroflex is bent or turned backwards. What does the root retro mean? Back, send, Burn. carry, far away. Retro. Back. Back, yeah. Okay, so if I'm, you know, wearing my jeans backwards, okay, like the like the early '90s, like a cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, and I'm doing a retro. I'm going back to the old school, like an old fool who's so cool. All right, thermometer is a tool that measures heat or temperature. What does the root "therm" mean? Life, heat, light, sound. Heat. Yeah, very good. Therm always is going to mean heat. All right, calligraphy is the art of writing in a beautiful or decorative way. What does the root Cali mean? Beautiful or good, hear or listen, own or self, write or draw. Beautiful and good. Beautiful or yeah, good. let's do that one, beautiful and good. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, dermatology is a study of, um, is a study and medical treatment of skin. What does the root derm mean? We already did skin. this. One, but, yeah, skin. Dermo. All right. A telescope is a tool that is used to look at something that is far away in outer space. What does the root scope mean? Is it far away, 
a look okay. at or observe, write or uh, write or draw or pull or drag. To look at or observe. Yes, very good. How long were you there? How long? All right, so let's let's see what else we have here. We're going to sixth. Down to vocabulary. They're sitting in the same spot. Oh my god. All right, let's do this one. We're just identifying which one it is now. So look at the roots below, which one means one. Multi auto uni. 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 Unicycle. Unilateral. Which uh, is what does the root multi mean? Change many or light? Many. 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 Multitude. Many people. What does uh, look at the roots below? We have water. Which one means water? Hydro, therm, or bio? Hydro. Hydro. You think hydrant? Uh, how about star? Photo, geo, or astro? Astro. astro. Astronaut. All right. Telly is that hear or listen fast, far away? Hear or listen? Hear or listen? Hear or listen. There you go. Um, well, a telephone, you can call somebody, right? But um, um, a television is for your sight, right? Far. So, but it is a transmission of how far? Far away. Oh, yeah, far, far away. away. Okay. That's that's one to slip you up. Okay. Flex. Break or burst, bend or curve, shapes or lines. Bend and curve. Mm-hmm. All right. Fantastic. Um break or burst, rupt, specked, or tracked. Rupt. Erupt, like erupt. All right, next one. Let's do meter. Is that shape, measure, or write down? Measure. Yes, very good. Very, very good. All right, so let's look at heat. One that is heat. Thermo, geo, hydro. Thermo. Thermo. I think we're getting it. All right, which means the study of something. Logic. Logic. Right. So I want to look real quick. Let's see if we can find this. Uh, da, 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 da. We looked at that root word. I want to look at. Uh, let's look at this. A little quick thing on phobias. I think you'll really like it. Like a kid's one though. Yeah. Weirdest phobias ever. And then we're gonna call it. That'll give us four minutes to spare. Uh-oh. To travel beyond our living rooms. To hug our parents. And Gotta hug them again. Don't you miss hugs? To get back to normal. Son of a gun. The word phobia comes from the Greek word phobos, which is related to having a fear of something or often what Can you still see that stupid thing that I'm trying to click off of? Yep. What up, man? I call an irrational all fear. Right. We, are, we have all heard of arachnophobia, which means a fear of spiders, or hydrophobia, which means a fear of water. According to the National Institute of Mental Health, 19.2 million US adults suffer from phobias. I want to disappear. There we go. To travel beyond our living rooms. Oh, no. oh you suck. But some of the most common being a fear of spiders, a fear of snakes, a fear of heights, and a fear of flying. But today we'll focus on the freakiest of fears in this episode of the Infographic Show. Infographics. phobias people suffer from. All right. Number 10. Turophobia. Turophobia. This is a totally irrational fear of cheese. Yes, there are people, people on this- People scared of cheese. ...that just can't go near a piece of mature cheddar. They That's run weird. for the hills when the waiter hangs over them with the Parmesan. 
Churi comes from the Greek meaning cheese, and you know the rest. The English media in 2016 reported about a university student with dysphobia who called her first contact with cheese traumatic. However, she did say that mozzarella wasn't as scary as the other cheeses. Well done. Number nine, omphalophobia. This is the fear of the navel, or what we call the belly button. It might mean these people can't abide anyone going near their belly button, or that they freak out when close to another person's belly button. This is a pretty important part of the body, given that it connected us to our mothers. Only recently, in 2018, the UK press featured a 25-year-old student doctor who suffered from this phobia, with the Daily Mail saying that she suffers panic attacks and is physically sick when she sees someone's navel. As for the other way around, she said, if someone touches mine, it feels like they're touching my insides and I can feel it all through me. She may struggle to become a doctor if she doesn't get over that. Number eight, papaphobia. When some people find out that the guy who likes to wear a white spearhead hat will be in town, they decide to take a vacation. The guy is the Pope and papaphobia is a fear of him. It's thought this fear is related to other fears concerning being terrified of religious objects. When these people see the Pope, their heartbeat quickens, uh -oh. they sweat profusely, and sometimes feel nauseous. Apparently, if these folks do see the man, they should quickly swallow a Xanax or some similar type of anti-anxiety medication. Number seven, nomophobia. Nomophobia is weird. But according to reports, it's becoming very common among the younger generation. It means the fear of being without your cell phone, or fear of being without a charge, or even without connection to the internet. Psychology yeah. Today says some people are so scared to be without this thing, they shower with it, sleep with it, take it literally Weird. everywhere. In fact, cell phone addiction has become a big topic in the media, but some might be surprised that people are petrified of being without their device. A recent UK study consisting of over 2,100 people found that 58% of men suffered from this phobia, as did 47% of women. In the US, it is worse, with 66% of all phone users suffering from nomophobia. The Guardian in 2017 said this detachment from the smartphone increases heart rate and blood pressure, causes anxiety, and generally affects users the way drug addicts first feel in the early stages of withdrawal. These screenagers have put their lives into this little bleeping box, and as most psychologists will tell you, wow. that box was created to be as addictive as anything. Welcome to the world of digital heroin. Number six, ephebiphobia. Speaking about these smartphone junkie teens, some people have a fear of them. Yes, ephebophobia is an irrational fear of teenagers or generally young people. We doubt sufferers need to see ID before they get the sweats. In every generation, you get these old folks decrying the youth of the day, saying they don't respect this or that, or in U.S. comedian Doug Stanhope's opinion, that the digital generation is just not reckless enough. But apparently this aversion to our cute kids is on the rise. The Guardian interviewed one 16-year-old who said, I've had people cross the road to avoid me. But that was due to the age-old fear of kids possibly being aggressive to old people. Kids these days are subject to moral panic, with older people telling them they are spoiled, too easily offended, until it comes to the point some people just don't want to be anywhere near their youths. But this seems to happen in every generation. One of the first books on the subject from the 1980s said nearly every generation of young people <laughs> has been chastised for being out of control or aberrant in some way. Adult claims of degeneration among the young can be found in nearly every previous decade. Only Doug Stanhope dislikes the young, he says, because they aren't aberrant enough. Number five, phagophobia. This one must really suck. Phagophobia is the irrational fear of swallowing. We are told it is sometimes confused with a fear of eating or certain conditions related to weight, but it's closer to the fear of choking. The hmm. amount of research on this must mean it's quite common. One site tells us a person's throat muscles will flex and spasm during their panic attack, closing the throat and expelling any unwanted items out of the mouth. Wow. This could mean water, food, or medications, so it's very serious. The answer is therapy. Number four, triscatophobia, the fear of the number 13. This person might also have a general fear of numbers, which is numerophobia. Others fear the number four, which is tetraphobia, but as for 13, what does that mean? Well, it's mostly related to superstition, sometimes related to myths or religion, and that generally the number 13 is not a nice number. We have a show on this topic if you want to know more. As Time Magazine reported, it's less a psychological malady than it is a silly superstition. For this reason, some businesses leave out the number on aisles, chairs, floors, or rooms, and believers will stay clear of the number if they do see it. Number three, ablutophobia. This is not a good phobia to have if you are actively trying to find someone to date, because it means being terrified of washing or bathing. It's we more common in that. kids than in adults, but a few hundred years back in Europe, many people had this phobia. These days, it's thought to be related to traumatic experiences as a child when bathing. 
Number two, dextrophobia. This is certainly one of the most irrational of irrational fears. It's the fear of having things to the right of you. According to one source, it's related to obsessive compulsive personality disorder, and sufferers will find themselves cluttering things in the home or office all to the left side. They don't like standing to the left of people or even driving in the left lane. Other people may have levophobia, which is a fear of things being to the left of them. If someone has both phobias, then they are really in trouble. Number one, phobophobia. You could say our last phobia might make sense after you've watched this show, so it's the right way to end. As you might guess, it means the fear of having a phobia. So if you are feeling left out right now as you have no phobias, you might one day acquire this phobia. From the description, it sounds like a panic attack. The anxiety forms in the unconscious, and then suddenly the person will feel dizzy and tense. Their heart will pound and be aware of something bad about to happen. This anxiety disorder can manifest as panic at any time because the person is always fearing getting a phobia, sometimes of something they love. As strange as it sounds, it's actually one of the most common phobias on this list. We'll leave you with this quote from Franklin D. Roosevelt. All we have to fear is fear itself. Ain't that the truth? So, do any of you out there have any phobias? Let us know more about it in the comments. No. All right. So you guys have three minutes before math. All right, my friends, I will call it. Unless you, I will stay on for the next three minutes if you want. Okay, thank right. you. Thank you, guys.